How's it going, guys? Well, I want to do a uh, cigar review, and um, obviously I already started it here. As you can see, it's already going. Back. I've been smoking for about 20 minutes or so. I figured why not do a, uh, a video on this. I know a lot of people are requesting for more uh, cigar reviews, so I figured might as well bust the camera out. I'm enjoying one anyway. You know, might as well film it, right? I'm inside. I, I rarely ever smoke inside. Um, I've only really smoked inside twice in my life <laughs> in this particular house. I don't like smoking inside because it does leave some kind of a film or something, you know, on the walls, and I'm, I'm just not into it. I, I, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it outside. But anyway, it's a little cigarello, so I figured, you know, what's the harm for now? Um, and it's cold outside too. So anyway, this is an Island Prince um, cigar. This is the Iki, I-K-I. -I. You can see here, let me show you the band here real quick. Um, this was actually sent to me as a gift by a viewer uh, last year, early last year. And uh, these are really, really awesome cigarellos. They come in a tin like this. See, Island Prince. These are R from uh, Hawaii. You see the uh, tax stamp on there. And basically what you get is a, uh, a medley of two different kinds. All right, beautiful tin. You can see what I've left here too. You get three Connecticut wrappers, or wrapped uh, cigarellos, and three of the Habano uh, wrappers. But the filler and the binder and everything is the same on both. All right, the only difference obviously is the, uh, the wrapper, once again, Connecticut, for the light brown one, and for the dark brown one, Habano. Um, beautiful cigars. In fact, let me show you real quick in comparison so you see how much I've actually smoked of it thus far. See so here's an unlit one, and this is what I've been working on. Right there, that's where I snipped it or cut it. So anyway, uh, I want to turn the camera on because this is not a very well-known cigar, but it is really, really good. I mean, top notch. I mean, that's the reason that the viewer had sent it to me. He said, "Hey, look, you know, not a lot of people have these and uh, or know about them, and I'd love to see you eventually do a review on them." Now, the reason I kind of you know, busted this, out, busted this out, excuse me, to uh, enjoy is because um, I was thinking about maybe doing a cigar humidor tour. If you guys are interested, you know, the people who do watch the uh, tobacco type reviews, I might do a little tour of the uh, humidor and show you what I got, you know, kind of aging in there and what I got working. Uh, if I didn't already mention it, the dishwasher is on. So I apologize for that uh, background noise. I'm watching a little Ron White, enjoying a couple beverages here, which if I happen to slur my words a little bit, that's why. Uh, just polished off another Double Bastard. Awesome, awesome, awesome beer. Really good stuff. Um, and dipped into some Red Stag, actually the last of the Red Stag. It's about three shots or so left. I have one more here. So, salute. And enjoying a cigar. Um, this is probably one of my favorite cigarellos. The only other cigarello that I really, really like are Rosa de Cuba Angels. Rosa de Cuba Angels is a, um, it's a very short stick, but it has a lot of transitions in it. And it's everything you would expect from a good quality cigar but in a smaller package. And I'm not quite sure if I reviewed that yet. I will look at my own videos, because I have so many. Sometimes I forget what I've shown. Um, but if I didn't review that one, I certainly will in the future. Fantastic stick, and you get really good bundles, super cheap. These are a little bit more expensive. You get a, uh, the tin of six, costs about 25 bucks direct. I'll put a link directly to the site. Because I didn't buy these, because they were sent by a viewer, uh, I don't know what, um, you know, dealer prices are going to be at your local tobacconist or smoke shop. I would assume maybe a little less, maybe maybe 20 bucks or so. But let's say worst case scenario, you buy it direct from the website, $25. Um, six cigarellos for $25 is very expensive. That being said, what a fantastic stick. Um, Really good, deep, rich flavors. Um, the best way I can really describe this is probably, I mean, the main thing I'm getting from this is, is leather. 
Uh, there's a lot of leather up front, maybe a little bit of earthiness uh, to it. There's no real transitions for me in these sticks, and you saw I have two of them left. Well, actually, three of them left if you count this one. Um, but uh, the one, you know, the, what I've experienced thus far, and it's been pretty, pretty equal between the Connecticut Rep ones and the Habano wrappers. I do like the the darker wrappers. Generally speaking, Connecticut is probably the, the my least favorite uh, style, you know, wrapper for a cigar. It's much more of a mild flavor, and you know, coffee, cigars, beer. I like it dark. The darker, the better for me. For some reason, the darker it is, the more flavor it has, and that transitions right over to cigars as well. Um, I like the Habano leaves. I like the Maduros. I mean, I like deep, dark, rich, flavorful stuff. And um, these Habano wrap ones are definitely my favorite. The only real difference I, I've noticed between the uh, Connecticut wrap ones and the Habanos for these little ikis, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It is Hawaiian, and I, I don't, I don't know Hawaiian, you know, terminology or words or, or, or slang or anything like that. So hopefully, I'm not sounding like a fool uh, saying iki. It's I K I. Hopefully, that's what it is. But uh. Mm. Just, a, just a really, really awesome little cigarillo. Like I said, very expensive, but to me, I think they're worth it. Um, it like I said, they're not, uh, they're not very popular, and um, you know, I wanted to review these to basically get the name out there. So, if you go to your local smoke shop or tobacconist, wherever you happen to go to get your cigars, um, even if you look online, you know, maybe you have an online dealer. They like to use. Check these out. I think they're they're really really worth giving them a shot. Uh, like I said, this isn't my first one. I've enjoyed all of them. I do prefer the Bonos over the uh, Connecticut's, but even the Connecticut's are very very good. Major flavor profile for these, in my opinion, is there's a lot of earth. There's definitely leather. It's very monotone from the first light all the way down to the nub. It's pretty much the same flavor throughout. So not a whole lot of. Um, there's not a lot of depth to this. I think it has a, a tremendous flavor, but it is a monotone experience. From first light, if you enjoy it, you're gonna enjoy the entire experience. If you don't enjoy it at first light, you're not gonna like them. You may wanna give them off to a friend or a family member or something, or even trade them for other cigars. Um, I still think they're really good though. Really, really good. Uh, as far as the size here, so 32, I mean, you know, obviously this one I've been working on for a while, but um, a fresh stick actually. Let me show you real quick. At least you can get a, a comparison, you know, with my hand for the size here. All right, so we have a, a 32 ring gauge here, and that is a, a four, excuse me, 32 by four and three sixteenths. I have notes here. Um, this is the reason why I have notes, just so you know. Because uh, that number, I could have very easily messed up and told you it was a 62 ring gauge. Because right now, uh, I, I can very much explain the, the intensity of the flavor and all that, you know, for the review purposes. But as far as the, the uh, specifications of size, well, that could get a little fuzzy. So that's why I'm looking there at my notes, which is, again, the size. 32 ring gauge by four and three sixteenths inches. Um, it's a cigarillo. It's a, it's a very small cigar, but even though it's small and it's a short smoke, I found that these average about an hour. Um, if you really baby it and kind of, you know, you're taking about two puffs per minute, um, and that's really kind of letting it sit and relax in the ashtray and and just kind of, you know, babying it. You're not you're not puffing on it the entire time. You're really just enjoying the experience. About an hour smoke on these. And uh, you get the, the full experience of a full-size cigar in a much smaller package. Not everyone is going to want to smoke a cigar for two hours or, or longer. So um, it's a really good option if you want something that's a, a shorter experience. For me, it's been about an hour. Um, 45 minutes to an hour is about average, I think, for these. I mean, for that size in general. Uh, one other note that I wanted to write down, though, is Iki actually translates to a short pause for pleasure in Hawaiian or Hawaii so very interesting obviously you know it's a very small cigar so it's a short pause for pleasure and uh, I think that's quite accurate mm. 
Unfortunately, when I uh, run out of the other two in the tin, I will be dry on this. Um, I do like these enough, though, to get them again. So I want to make that note. Um, I do like them enough to actually, you know, purchase these myself in the future. Like I said, the only other, uh, the only other cigarello I've ever really enjoyed uh, would be the Rosa de Cuba Angels. And um, besides that, a lot of cigarellos, I mean, a lot of them on the market that I, I've tried anyway are infused. Um, I tend to stay away from that kind of stuff. It's not. It's really not that bad, to be honest. It, it's not. It's not like it's horrible or anything, but I really like the experience you're going to get with a full-size cigar, but in a smaller package because it's a shorter smoke. I don't always feel like smoking a cigar for two hours or you know or longer, and um, it's just really nice. I like it. So sorry for Gus. He's uh, he's snoring. He's still recovering from his uh, his eye issues. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Like I said, it's a very monotone stick. So. From first light to the very end of the nub, there's no flavor changes, so I don't really need to continue with a, you know, as far as review purposes, I don't need to say shut the camera off and let you know when I'm about to be finished with it. Nothing, nothing happens as far as the flavor. It does not change for me personally. Uh, major notes, leather, definitely some earth, and that's about it. Just a little combination of both. Every time you take a puff, maybe it's a little bit more leather in this puff and then a little bit more earth in that, but that's generally the profile leather and an earth. It may be just a, uh, a slightly aged tobacco flavor. It is a deeper flavor. I mean, this, this, I am you know enjoying the uh, Maduro, um, but even the Connecticut has more of a darker flavor, if that makes sense to you. I would say probably medium bodied um, because it's a short smoke and because it's not a really, really like aged tobacco, I, I don't find there's any kind of a nicotine kick to it. Um, it. It's not overwhelming at all. Medium bodied, medium strength. If anything, medium bodied in flavor and probably light to medium strength. Uh, you're not going to get any kind of uh, nicotine, nicotine, excuse me, overload uh, with this particular stick. You know, very light to medium as far as the uh, the nicotine content goes. So. I can tell that I'm uh, starting to ramble a little bit. Mm. I'm going to enjoy the rest of the stick and enjoy a little bit of Ron White. I'm watching Ron White on Comedy Central. Nothing to do with this review, but let me just tell you my opinions on Ron White. Uh, I think he's a funny dude. Uh, he's not the funniest comedian by far. There's I could probably name 20 comedians that I like better than him. But I will say he has his funny moments. Uh, one thing that's always bothered me, though, is that he's not... He's a funny comedian, but he's not a blue-collar guy. He's on stage with a nice cigar and a nice suit with a nice, you know, scotch. He doesn't fit with the blue-collar comedy tour. I know that's kind of... He does his own thing now, but, you know, I was always like, you know, what's with this guy? You know, you got Jeff Foxworthy. Total hillbilly, um, you know. Of course, you know, get her done guy. I don't know why I'm drawing him like on his name, but yeah, obviously him. And I'm sure everyone's gonna comment his name. I'm just not in my right mind right now. Um, but yeah, and then uh, Bill Engvold, Engvold. I don't know. You know what I'm talking about. Those three guys, fine. Blue collar comedy tour. I get it. Couple of hillbillies, pretty funny. Each guy brings his own thing to the table. I get that. Um, of course, you know, the whole get her done dude. Oh my God, I, I can't believe I'm drawing a blank. Um, anyway, just wanted to give you a, uh, a quick review on these. I think these are very much worth checking out. If you are a uh, Cigarello style cigar smoker, um, one of the best. Uh, I still think that the, you know, once again, the uh, Rosa de Cuba Angels are my favorite Cigarello. They are a little bit of a beefier uh, Cigarello. But uh, if you're into cigarellos in general, uh, don't get the cheap ones. If you don't smoke often, if you only enjoy a cigar every once in a while, maybe once a month or even less, you know, treat yourself to something like this. These are really are very high quality premium cigarellos, and you get the same experience with a you know really expensive full size cigar in a much smaller package. All right, these are made by that company right there on the bottom, which I don't want to pronounce that wrong. I'm going to go for it anyway. K-A-U-A-I. 
Kaiu, I don't know, Kwai? Let's go with that, Kwai. Kwai Cigar Company uh, out of Hawaii. Fantastic, really premium cigarellos. Totally worth checking out. The purpose of this video is really to get that name out because again, like I said, uh, I don't think a lot of, even people in the cigar communities, they don't really take note of these cigars and I think they're really missing out. It's probably one of the most underrated cigars, or at least cigarellos out there. Uh, my second favorite. So check it out. I know $25 for six cigarellos is very expensive. Um, I feel very fortunate this was you know, a gift to enjoy these. But like I said, given the right circumstances, I have a couple extra bucks to spend on cigars. Um, I would definitely go for these. They're worth getting again. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a great day, and I will see you soon. Take care.